I think it's uh, important for innovators to f- first of all understand the the problem that they were they are trying to address, uh, then to try and evolve the innovation based on the on the um, based on the feedback they're getting from the intended beneficiaries. So that's really critical to so that there's no disconnect. Uh, like for example, what we're doing is that we able to use the communities as uh, as our feedback. They're able to tell us that this design of the lamp is not okay for us. We want this thing to be much better like this. And that is what how we are able to connect with them. More often, we have a lot of uh, policies on development being done in boardrooms and uh, the effect don't trickle down to communities. But for us to be able to have effective development, it needs to, be, to involve the views of the local people. Uh, we cannot talk about improving education if even the children themselves have not been asked what, what is best for them. Uh, and there's a lot of people talking about uh, how to improve uh, education for the girl child. And I haven't seen anybody asking the girls themselves what's what they need to be able to improve their lives. You know, uh, women are, play a critical role in development and there's no way we can have socioeconomic development without involving women. And uh, women are more often overlooked because programs tend to focus more you know, on the larger issues, but women want the very basic things. How they, can they be able to have education for their children? How can they be able to have income uh, to improve their lives, to have uh, medication and health care? So those are the critical things that the women are looking for in most communities. And that's why, for example, for us, we able to particularly get, distribute the lamps to women through women groups because Women are more organized in, in communities. They're able to trust each other and they have a specific agenda they want to achieve. They want to really make, to improve their lives and the lives of their families. And they're more focused on that. And that, that's why we've chosen to work with women. And we've seen that there's a very uh, positive result we've seen. They're able to <coughs> make savings from the money that they will have spent on kerosene after getting the solar lamps and then use the savings to a set up income projects. I think for post-2015 development agenda, I, I believe that energy should be included and should be given more and more attention. And for for several, several years now, energy has been looked at as a side issue. And I think it's critical because for us even to improve all other sectors in terms of healthcare, education, uh, access to information, and just basically everything else, we can't do that without energy. We need to focus more, especially on clean energy, and how to, do we make it? Uh, how do we make clean energy affordable and accessible, especially to people in rural areas? <laughs>